Hi, Jessica Mangum here at jessicamangum.com. For those of you who don't know me, I am a mentor, a medium, an intuitive. I do intuitive readings. Um, but most importantly, I help people find their soul's purpose. And today what we're going to be focusing on, because this theme has presented itself quite frequently here lately, is um, healing ourselves through self-love. So there are four steps that we're going to be talking about, and they pertain to and are directed more toward those of us who are the counselors, the healers, the ones who um, really are, are good at being the middleman or woman, uh, but who tend to focus outside of ourselves instead of focusing within. And then we often feel drained um, and taken advantage of. Uh, some might call that the victim mode, those sorts of things. So personally, I have gone through a lot of um, counseling, a lot of self-work that has brought me to this place to realize, okay, these are the things that I need to be doing on a consistent basis in order to really start loving myself as opposed to focusing outward so that I can be more energetic and I can be actually of more service to the people around me uh, as opposed to trying to help everybody else. <laughs> I help myself. So um, heal or heal thyself. The first step that I want to talk about, and this is something that you can do on your own, obviously. I mean, um, what I have done is I've created a calendar for myself and literally scheduled in time for me, for me. So for me to go meditate, for me to go do something creative like artwork or play the piano um, or listen to music or exercise, but that I take that time for myself as often as possible during the week uh, so that I can feel good. And when I feel good, again, that reflects outside of me and affects everything and everyone. So that's the first step, plan some time for you throughout the week to take time for you only to focus on you. Um, the next thing you can do, step two, is to start journaling. And it's really important for those of us who are the, the helpers, the healers, to journal about ourselves and how much we love ourselves, what we love about ourselves, so that we can see the positive attributes that we are to ourselves as opposed to receiving that information from outside of us. So that's the second step. Nightly or in the morning or whenever you have that time, just make a consistent time base. Start to journal what you love about yourself and remind yourself of that. Um, the third step is to really think about the people and the situations in your life that are more dramatic uh, that cause you anxiety, that make your stomach churn, or that you keep hearing like a broken record, like things aren't changing with certain people, friends, family, you name it. Write them down, write their names, write down what you love about them, and then um, let them go. Tell them, you know, thank you for teaching me more about myself. Thank you for being in my life at that time so that we could learn together and grow together and then release them. It doesn't mean that you have to cut them off completely and tell them to just go away. You know, it's not about that. This is more boundaries with love and honoring your higher self, that higher aspect of your being that loves yourself by letting go of that situation. So that's the third step. Um, really release those patterns. Um, and then the fourth step is to go back to childhood. During meditation, um, just when you're focusing on your breathing, think of a time when you were younger and you could feel, I guess, a familiar, uncomfortable situation surrounding you. And we've all had trauma in our childhood. None of us had a perfect childhood, I'm sure. Um, but sit in that situation and see yourself as a child, literally, like you're the, the, um, the onlooker, if you will, right? Looking at yourself. And the child, you know, just kind of in a, whatever state she or he is in. And then as the adult you, put your arms around that child. Tell that child you that it's going to be okay. Um, that you're going to work through the process together. 
And that will help um, relieve a lot of anxiety in your life in general because you're going back and nurturing the child where he or she may not have received that in their young age. So those are four steps that you can use to really start healing yourself from within and focusing on you again, and this is key, so that your environment becomes much more calm around you. When you're calm within, everything around you is calm without. So I hope you find that incredibly helpful and that you use these tools on a regular basis to see this consistent change for as you change, the world changes. Thanks for your time. Please visit my website, jessicamangum.com, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye now.